video we're going to be looking at calculating the mode. The mode is an example of one of your free averages. You have the mean, median and mode. And the mode specifically is the most frequently occurring item. Now I've used the word item there rather than number because very often you can get a mode which is the most frequently occurring thing. For example it could be a colour. Um, in this case though it's going to be a number but you need to be aware of that whereas you, you can't have a mean or a median colour. So in this example we're looking for the most frequently occurring item um, and in this case it's a number. The number 2 appears twice uh, but the number 5 appears three times and the other three numbers only appear once. So for this one the mode equals 5 because it's the most frequently occurring number. Right, this next example slightly different. Uh, you've got 1, 4, a 5, an 8, a 1, but you've got two 7s and you've got two 3s as well, which actually means both 7 and 3 are the mode. So the mode in this one equals 3 and 7. Now in this next one you could argue that the numbers 2, 3, 4 and 5 are all the mode because 2 appears twice, uh, 3 appears twice, 4 appears twice and 5 appears twice. Uh, but one only appears once, so you could say two, three, four, and five, they're all the most frequently occurring item. But by the time you get past two modes, it becomes quite meaningless because the mode is supposed to represent the most common thing in the data, but actually most things happen to be the most frequently occurring item. So it doesn't have much meaning anymore. So we would say in this case that there is no mode. Okay, and our final example, the most frequently occurring item. Now this is what I said before, it doesn't have to necessarily be a number. So the color red occurs once, twice, uh, three times. We've got green appearing once, twice, three, four times. Blue appears twice and yellow once. So actually the modal color from this set of data equals green because it was the most frequently occurring colour. OK, here's five questions for you to try. Press pause and have a go at them. If you press play, I'll take you through the answers. OK, here are the answers. The mode for the first question equals 4, because 4 appears twice and every other number appears once. For this next question, every number, 9, 4, 2 and 3, actually appears twice. So this would be an example of one where we would say there was no mode. And similar for the third question, red, blue and green all appear once, so no mode again. In this next one, 9 appears the most, so we'd say the mode equals 9. It appears three times, whereas the other numbers, well, 5 appears twice, 1 appears twice, and there's 1, 7, and 1, 3. And for the final one, again, remembering that it doesn't have to be a number, it could be a letter, like in this series of letters, G actually comes up four times, which is more than any other letter, so G would be the mode.